there. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm Kira from KiraWoods.com. Lovely to see you. Uh, this is the first video that I'm doing on what I'm calling the heavy hitters. And it's around just sort of demystifying some of the perceptions people have about these cards. And today we're going to look at the first one of these, which I've chosen as the devil. Now I chose this card because I just recently received a message on my channel uh, from a subscriber asking me um, about this card in more depth because she'd received it in a um, dream. Now, it, for, let me just also say, oh, thank you. Welcome to all my wonderful subscribers and also the new ones that have uh, recently joined. Thank you for all your messages and uh, comments. I'm going to turn some of those comments into videos like this one. And also, um, welcome to all uh, my new clients. I've had a flurry of new clients recently, which is just divine. Thank you so much. Um, and that have come from this channel. So uh, that's been uh, most lovely. And uh, if you yourself would like a reading, by all means, have a, get in touch. Now, okay, the devil. Okay, so what is it about this imagery that seems to perhaps not sit well with people? Um, a lot of people think of this, they look at this imagery and they think there's something negative about it or they think, it's dark and they worry when they see it. You know, you, you're giving a reading and you look on their face and there's a sense of trepidation or concern or worry or anxiety because they, they look at it and they think, yikes. And yet compared to what happens when they look at this card, this is the lovers, you know, and they look at this card and they often smile or they, look, they seem to lighten and their posture changes and their eyes light up and they immediately jump to, oh great, something good is coming. But what do you see in terms of the similarity between these two cards? I mean, really, how different are they truly? The, we have, the images are different, yes. And the energy is different, but the message has a lot of the same meaning. The question is around, with this card, we're looking at issues of denial. We're looking at maybe what you're not seeing. The shadow side of this lovely lover's energy. So if you're born with a number six, you are actually working on the devil energy, the card, the energy in the devil card, equally to the lover's card. This is your shadow work. So let's go back to reminding ourselves a bit about this lovely card. Okay, yes, it is dark, the imagery here. You know, there's black. But black in tarot is not negative. It's not uh, something to think, oh, yikes. It is about depth. It is often about spirituality. It is often about shadow work, which can really be the time that we have the most fabulous breakthroughs in our life. So when you see this card, really look at it. Note the chains here, they're not bound tightly. They could quite easily, these figures, remove themselves from this position if they wanted to. So it is about choice. It is very much about, you know, is there some sort of power issue in our life that's not working for us? You know, this devil represents that part that we're maybe not wanting to see. So very much it might be to do with, are we feeling power around something to do with guilt or an illusion? Or have we given away our personal power in some way? You know, um, you might also look, it, it can be around the do's and the don'ts and the shoulds and the should nots. You know, the conditioning, the things that we've gotten ourselves into to do automatically that, mm, is it really right for us or is it a pattern? Is it a habit? Is it a habit that's not good for us? So when the devil comes up, it's asking you, the energy is asking you to reflect upon those pieces of your life that maybe you're in automatic mode about but they're not actually good for you they're not working for you they're not inspiring you and so it may come up in a dream as as with this lovely woman that sent me a message you know if it comes up in a dream wow fabulous you know you're really getting some clear messages from your unconscious because the devil is very much around the unconscious it is that messages sort of from the underworld kind of concept but that can be fantastic 
if you use it. If you pay attention to looking at, okay, what in my life is dominating me? I'm not making the decisions here. It is about decisions, just like the lover's card, which is all about decision making and being responsible for our decision making and the consequences that come from it. The devil is also about decision making and being responsible for those decisions about is there separateness in our relationship or are we bound by something we're not paying attention to? You know, it's around, yes, the duality here coming together. Is the duality here coming, is it coming together in a healthy way? So you're looking for the issues around unification, other relationships, power play, is it healthy, isn't it, conditioning, um, you're looking at what motivates you, what are you driven by, you're looking at, you know, your choices, anything you might be avoiding looking at, you're recognizing where maybe you might feel you, you are lost within the union, instead of it being balanced and in harmony, and the, the two parties becoming both separate and unified, some part of it is out of balance and therefore it is not unified. That's what the devil is talking about. It might also be about the slave to your desires, living so much in wanting to get gratitude or sorry, um, uh, gratification now that we're not paying attention to why we're here or where that's taking us. So what are the consequences of getting whatever that thing is now? But it doesn't have to be negative. Sometimes the devil comes along and it's a very good thing. You know, it's just something's a little out of balance and needs to be tweaked. Maybe, maybe you've been feeling angry a lot lately and it's an opportunity for you to look to see, well, how can I use this anger constructively? What can I do with it? What am I so angry about? Am I trying to put a block on the volcano? Or do I need to actually work with that lava that needs to come out? So you can use the power of this devil in a way to this devil energy to really enhance your life, to really make some quality decisions and choices and changes. Now, the other thing I thought is, where does this devil come up in the card room? Often you say, did I get the devil and I drew a spread? Well, where in the spread did it come up? You know, be very mindful of what kind of a spread you use because that can really help you with answering the question. If it comes up in the first position and you've chosen the first position to be the situation, well then that's what it's about. But if it's come up at somewhere else in the reading, perhaps you're, you're uh, doing a reading where you have chosen to have a helper card. Well, the devil's coming in to say, hey, this energy is to help you in this particular scenario or situation you're working on. Or it might come up in the environment. Ah, so they're forced to do with something around me, another person perhaps. What cards are next to it? What comes before it? What comes after it? So for example, if the lovely Ace of Swords is in the mix, maybe this is right next to the devil. So you're being informed that you have the, uh, the, the knowing, the wisdom, the knowledge, the insight, the clarity, the aha moment to understand this. If you put your mind to it, if you really look at and analyze, if you use the gifts of the mind, you know, you could use the sword to really see the double-edged side of this, you know, to see what is working and not working about this. The wonderful double-edged sword of the power of divine knowing, of absolute knowing. That's what we've got here. Okay, but let's put it up against the Six of Cups. Oh, very different energy now. What's this about? Well, this is really about our past. It could also be about our children in our lives. It could be to do with our relationship with our children. It could be to do with something, a person coming in from the past or some sort of experience you've had in the past that's still dominating you. You're hanging on to it and it's not serving you. It's created a value or a belief or a, a particular uh, thought system. Maybe it's created a whole um, a new sense of conditioning in your life that you don't need anymore. Or maybe you do. Maybe it's to let you know that to... You, something you've been doing goes away from your values of your ancestry that are important to you. It comes back to, is it important to you? Maybe it's this lovely three of wands. 
Okay, so what's this about? Well, this is about going on a journey, making a decision. So what's this devil trying to tell you? Well, uh, are you being held back from going on this journey? And is that good for you? Who's holding you back? Are you holding yourself back? Or is somebody else holding you back? Is a false thinking, faulty thinking, faulty belief system, faulty conditioning holding you back from doing this? You're ready for this. Is your personal power in some way not manifesting, not flowing, not being allowed to evolve? So these are the sort of questions you ask. Well, what about the two of pentacles? So I've just thrown a card up of each of the elements. Um, I just threw them out this morning. What This is what came up. The two here, decision making. Remember when decisions are on, we often want to be light on our feet. Uh, we want to be available to look at both sides of the equation equally. But if we have an imbalance in our life, if we have something that's hidden, something we're not paying attention to, how can we do this? How can this? So is it, it's letting us know maybe this has been uh, compromised because we haven't resolved this. Or is this the way to compromise this, to get light on your feet, to be more clear about your decisions, to take back your personal power? So this isn't bad. It's around having you look at where you're at and what is driving your decision making and your choices and the consequences of those. And is that what you want? And if it is, great. You know, if you just want to go out and, you know, eat a whole chocolate cake because you feel like it, yay. But if you eat a chocolate cake every single day, and you're not aware of why you're driven to go eat a whole chocolate cake every day, even though you know that eating a chocolate cake gives you that sugar high and you feel lethargic and you feel horrible and maybe, you know, that you're not chocolate's not good for you. Um, maybe you, you know, you, then you can't fit into your favorite jeans and then you feel really bad about that because you love your favorite jeans, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then you, it's about not the problem. It's not with the chocolate cake. It's not even necessarily that you ate the chocolate cake. It's that you weren't paying attention to what was driving you to eat the chocolate cake. So do you see the difference? So the devil comes up to let you know, is this pattern, is this habit something that is being driven from somewhere that you're not paying attention to? Or is this pattern or habit or this thing you just want to do, something that you just want to do? Yeah, great. So the energy of the devil, that sort of that raw, that that just sort of be um, go for it, you know, is okay. If that is what you want, if it's the choice, and if it's the outcome that you desire. So I hope you find that useful. I could talk all day about this. We could pull up every single card in the deck, work with it with the devil. So for those of you who are learning, just remember that look at the imagery in its depth. What jumps out at you? So when you look at this card, who's the what? Is it the devil? What is it your reaction to the devil? Is it your reaction to the chains? Is it your reaction to the horns? Is it your reaction to the the, the um, flame down here? Well, what is it? You know, is it because he's carrying, you know, a flame and you're, you know, you're thinking, oh my God, it's part of the thunderbolt from the tower card. Is it the wings? Is it, you know, what is it? The black. So ask yourself. So because the more you can go into and understand your reactions and your relationship with the card, the better you'll understand it and therefore be able to read uh, for both yourself and for others. So I wish you all the very best. Have an absolutely fabulous day. Thank you again for coming to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, check that down there, please. That's fabulous for me. Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more people that find my channel. Um, and so uh, that's lovely for me, but also lovely for those out there who maybe haven't found me yet that might benefit from wanting to know my perspective on the tarot. Um, also, if you'd like a private reading, oh, love to give you one. Really loving my private readings. Really helps me stay connected with my own uh, relationship with the tarot, but also it's part of my own practice. So I love giving readings. Um, so go to my website, again, kirawoods.com. Send me a message. Uh, I'm about to actually just do some work on the website and have an easy clip um, 
button that allow you to also immediately book in your readings. So I'm working on that at the moment to um, improve those systems. Um, for those of you who watched my last video, so sorry, I didn't know I needed to download something called an encoder before I did live streaming. So that's why things I think were a bit picklish. I will redo that video for those of you who are wanting to look at um, the steps, some of the tips that I'm giving on um, just the ins and outs of reading and particularly as I've been asked to do I will redo that one as well so I'll take that down and redo it um, and I won't do another live video until I figure out where I'm supposed to get this encoder and how I put it up on my phone and all that kind of stuff uh, and I'll probably just do a simple test one day to see if it works before I actually do a um, one of the series a video series so I'll do the next video I'll move on to I think it'll probably be the tower card if you'd like to ask me um, if any specific questions on videos you'd like to make in the future feel free to do that send me a message I'll try and get back to everyone that posts a comment or sends me a message so thank you again so much have an absolutely fabulous day i really appreciate it um, all the best cheers bye